so guys it's good evening and welcome to bbb official for uh, for this evening it's really nice to have you guys my name is luke manyu and as you can see from the command that you can put in the in the chat um i have an international fifa caster from delhi india and it's it's so so nice to be here on the bbb stream right now and today's topic is actually about the freestyle challenge and the partnership of wffa which is the world freestyle association and borussia dortmund and to talk more about that i'm so uh, happy to introduce the guests for today would be dan wood and olin so dan really nice to have you uh, we have martin as well apologies for missing out on that uh dan wood could you please talk about uh wffa and how everything started i know you're the co-founder of this uh of this association and just to give our viewers a bit more information about what the association is actually it's the world governing body for the sport of freestyle and uh it is committed to growing the awareness of and participation in the freestyle uh world of freestyle football worldwide so dan Very nice to have you. Can we please have a few words from you? Good start. Look, uh, look, look Manu, thank you so much. Um thanks for for having me here and for the Borussia Dortmund in general, all the fans out there. Um so yeah, so to kick things off just to introduce the sport of freestyle football. I'm certain that everyone who has uh watched any game of football will have seen and appreciate some of the skills uh, that happens maybe in the warm up more than the 90 minutes um however so freestyle football began for us just 10 years ago as a sport um prior to that we can we can trace freestyle football back over 2000 years actually to ancient games in in asia such as chinlon and um sepak takraw and many others uh but yeah it became popularized in europe through the circus in the 1800s and 1900s uh and then of course legendary footballers such as diego maradona ronaldinho they kind of brought the skills to the football pitch they actually started to integrate it more with their training with their um and their match play as well uh so we i i stumbled into the sports in in 2005 and met athletes uh Ellen I think you were a bit too young back then for <laughs> for for that but um some of the athletes back in in the early days who were somehow living from this they were performing in the street they were doing tricks they were being picked up for tv commercials and some some live shows but there was no real structure and um and vision for for doing more so we i got together with the community who i befriended um by chance and we said let's let's create something new let's create a platform for anyone in the streets to pick up a ball express themselves and hey maybe one day live from this um full time that's how it started so freestyle is the art and now the sport of juggling with a ball you can use any part of your body uh you don't need to rely on teammates obviously you don't need any other equipment than just a ball um music is massively important for this to bring it to life it's about style it's about creativity it's about rhythm um gymnastic moves acrobatic moves are, are very featured heavily now as well so uh so yeah it's a, it's a sport in its own right as i said 10 years officially we organize competitions now as the the world governing body across 114 countries of the world um that being said it's still very small all right so as we have the sport is out there people see videos on on twitch on youtube um and and every social channel but they don't necessarily all of them yet know that for example our good friend here mr ellen fagley is uh, is the world champion at this actually um and that you can actually create a lifestyle from it so there's a, a snapshot anyway as to to what the sport is about for now well, that's a wonderful introduction dan i think that made it pretty clear to everybody actually as to what the wffa is all about and how it's uh, uh moving into the right direction i can use that word with such top athletes like olin himself so now let's talk about olin a bit olin we have you here thank you so much first of all for joining the stream uh talk about your story like how have you come up through the ranks and now that you're at this stage how does that feel how's your journey been and uh just uh, 
yeah, just go ahead. Sure. Uh, I started with uh, freestyle football in 2009. Uh, I did a few tricks before that time uh, when I played some uh, football. But uh, in 2009, I discovered uh, like the sport freestyle football uh, basically through YouTube. And it was something that really clicked with me. It, I knew instantly that this was something I really wanted to do. And uh, since then, I had it, uh, I would say, I had it uh, as a really strong hobby the first five years. Uh, but after that, uh, I started going all in to try to become as good as I can. So I've been freestyling now for 12 years and uh, yeah, been uh, going pretty hard and trying to improve every day. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for that introduction because uh, when it comes to being one of the top athletes in, in any, uh, any sport or anything like that, I think for freestylers, you're the one to look up to. And if you've been doing this for 12 years, that means uh, there's so many, so many people wanting to learn the things from you. But anyway, um, now it's, it's about majorly talking about the collaboration, the partnership uh, between Borussia Dortmund and the WFFA. And I think Dan and Martin would be the right people to, uh, to talk about this. I'm going to throw it to you guys. First of all, uh, Martin, I would like you to introduce yourself first. Uh, how your journey has been in, uh, with WFFA and uh, what do you plan on doing in the future? Cool, yeah. Hi, guys. Um, good to be here. Look, you. Thanks for the invitation. Um, I'm Martin. I'm with Borussia Dortmund. I'm based in China um, for our China office here. And yeah, how did we come up with this freestyle challenge? Um, actually, it all started um, with a challenge for our fans, mainly in Asia to have like an interactive challenge for them to call out our fans globally to showcase their creative skills. And luckily we got the connection to Dan with pretty fast to the WFFA. And then we onboarded Alan and also some other freestylers to have this creative hub um, so they can help to promote, to bridge this world between us traditional football, but also the, the freestyle football world. And this is how we came up with this challenge, yeah. That's that's fantastic. Thank you so much for that introduction. But And now, I mean, obviously, it's time for Dan and you to have a chat about the collaboration between uh, Dortmund and WFFA. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a dream come true for a lot of BBB fans who might be interested in, uh, you know, freestyle to look at how the journey has been. And, and for all others, too, the actual freestylers like Erland, the the young people that look up to you guys. So, yeah, can, can we please have that, uh, you know, a more open discussion about, uh, about the partnership? Dan, I'll start with you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So just to, to feed on from, from what Martin said there. So when, when we were, um, were having some early conversations about this, for me, the, the most exciting, well, there's, there's so many layers to it. There's so much that, that is going to create opportunities, not just for, most importantly right now, the, the BBB fans all over the world, um, but also the, the game of, you know, the industry of football. Um, what we find is... Uh, we often get frustrated as, as freestyle because, as I said, as I hinted earlier, you know, people see a trick or they see a video that goes viral, but they don't really understand the culture and the lifestyle and, and the people involved. So that can be frustrating for the community, especially, you know, that a video gets 30 million views, but nobody knows who's in it. And there's a, that's happened a lot, right? So, um, so the chance for us here, first of all, was to, to have that bit of recognition from such a prestigious club um it was super exciting and it was a chance for us to really break down some barriers and to to talk about freestyle and in, in, in all the, the value that it is a ball is involved so of course everyone assumes a freestyler can play football usually when they when they see that uh sometimes that's the case but it's not always and and it doesn't need to be the case either i think that's the first important thing is you can be a fan you can be, um, it doesn't matter what age you are, what background you are, how athletic you are, you can pick up a ball and you can express yourself and, and freestyle. And, and over time, you build confidence, you build so many strong life values. So that's really what, you know, what we're promoting at all times. And I think back to this, you know, 
Martin and, and the whole team. So as, as Martin said, it started as a, as a focus on Asia. We were looking, how do we get the fans across Asia, especially through these crazy COVID times where there's lockdowns still in, in many, for, for you there, there right now, look man you, right? In, in India, it's, it's incredibly tough for, for many people all over the world who can't even go outside in some instances. And, and this is actually where, dare I say it, freestyle has kind of flourished in the last 12 months because all you need is a ball. You can do this in your front living room. You can do it in your backyard. Um, so that, but that was number one. And then, yeah, head office, the, the, whole, the whole team at, in, uh, in Germany have been so welcoming and so excited about this that we've decided to, together to take this and, and open it up globally. So, uh, so it's a challenge for anyone in the world to, to take part in, showcase their black and yellow. Freestyle is officially black and yellow now. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and have a chance to win some very cool prizes and, and be associated with some online legends. Um, yeah, is that fair to say, Martin? <laughs> yeah, I can only agree what, what Dan just, just said. I think... And basically, traditional football, we, we at Borussia Dortmund stand for traditional football. Then again, we're looking at the freestyle community. It's a completely different audience. And this is also why we reached out to the WFA. We also onboarded um, freestylers such as Alan um, in order to have like this authentic approach. Because we know we as a traditional Bundesliga football club cannot um, yeah, tell this authentic story about freestyle football. That's why we said we want to... Um, have the support of the governing body, have the support to have like really an authentic approach also to tap into a complete different culture. And then again, then mentioned all need is a ball. So there are definitely similarities, but again, it's a different community. And this is what we we're looking at to somehow bridge these two worlds. I think it's about the, the dream as well, right? That for every, especially every child, but even adult, <laughs> I think there's mo most football enthusiasts, you know, dream of, running out on the pitch and, and playing 90 minutes in their favourite jersey. And, and that's always going to be there because of the size and the stature of the football industry. Um, but what we want to do through this partnership and in general is to sort of give everyone the confidence that it's not just about that. You can do that and you can be the biggest fan of your club, but you can also get fit. You can pick up a ball, you can showcase your own skills and, and get recognition if that's what you seek or just enjoy the ball for longer. So yeah, we have many, many athletes are either ex players who have picked up injuries maybe and can't continue playing at that level. Um, or it's that cross pollination with other sports. So as I mentioned, gymnastics or dance, um, it, it really opens up the audience and the fan base, I think for, for BBB globally. Um, yeah, and then also I'd just like to shout at this point out to the, to the rest of the team as well. Right. So this, this started as a, Again, very Asia focused, very uh, let's just start small and build it over time. And because of the overwhelming support from from all of the offices with, with BVB, um, first of all, we've got Ellen, as, as we all know, so current world champion. Um, we've also got Yannick, Yannick Freestyle in Germany. Uh, so that's the kind of two European based. We've got two over in the States, so over on the the West Coast is Alex Mendoza and then Torin Lynch, one of the top female freestylers in the world um, based on the East Coast. And then into Asia, we've got Chenny in China. There's um, Tay Freestyle in South Korea. I've got to remember everyone now. There's nine. Don't worry, everyone. There is nine freestylers in, in sync with, with BVV's number nine. Um, Fat Freestyle in, in Vietnam. Um, Zim in Malaysia. And Valerie, also one of the great female freestylers in Singapore. I think I've got everyone, haven't I? Ellen, have I missed anyone in the scene? <laughs> well, I think you have everyone. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, cool. it's, it's something, something fresh. It's, uh, it gives us a chance not only to promote this competition, but in the future, come up with some really great ideas to, to fuse football and freestyle together. That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Especially after knowing the lineup in all over the world, I think uh, it, it's it's a, such a proud partnership between BVB because it's actually reaching out to uh, different communities in Asia, in in the states, and every every part of the world, probably in South America as well. Uh, but now I think we have spoken about the collaboration. Let's just see our world champion Erlen do something for us. Erlen, are you ready? 
Yeah, I'm ready if you are. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Let's uh, let's see something. Let's see your skills and uh, yeah, what what you got in store for us. Yeah, uh, I thought before I start with just uh, pure freestyle, I can uh, explain uh, the basic aspects in uh, freestyle football. So I would say we have uh, four basic aspects. Uh, we have uh, lowers, uppers, sit downs and transitions. So the first one, which is uh, lowers, is uh, the classical one, which where you juggle the ball and do different moves. Uh, our really famous move here is around the world. And uh, of course, you can do it in many ways. And uh, I can now just show you some lowers and I will show the, the others afterwards. Yes, please do that. I'd like to, I'd like to see that. So this is lowers around the world. Okay, so, so that's lowers. Uh, and the next uh, basic aspect is uppers, which is basically moves with your upper body. We have neck stall, shoulder stall, air stall, head stall, mouth, and so on. Okay, and then we have sit downs, which is uh, tricks when you are sitting and you can sit regularly like this and do, yeah, crossovers and stuff. But you can also lay on your back and do soldiers. Wow. So, and the last one is the transitions. That's the part when you move in between these different aspects. So now, for example, from sit downs to lowers. All right, so I get you, I guess you feel, see the four main aspects. And of course we have different things we can do too, like standing on our hands and doing backflips and stuff. So yeah. If you want now, I can show some just pure freestyle. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm obviously amazed yeah. to see this. It's like you're a rubber man. You don't have any bones in your body the way you're moving, actually. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it, this is really nice to see. and we, we would definitely like to see some more of it, uh, which you can show us. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks. All right. I will try to show some of my best moves. I will just take off these AirPods. I think there's, there's smiles of confidence, in, in my opinion. In my opinion, you're not playing you and Martin. Playing you and Martin. Playing you and Martin. I think you're both thinking you can have a go yourself right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I used to play football uh, a few years ago, but I could never do even like 1% of what he's doing. This is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I mean, this One is, around this the world, is... maybe, but it looks way too easy what he's doing. Like, <laughs> exactly. I, I could do two maximum, but I could never do what he's doing. Like that, all of that is just a dream, to be honest. Like everything there, right? It's, uh, I mean, he's, he's putting in six to 10 hours sometimes every day just to, to train and to stay on top. So of course it's not uh, straightforward for everyone, but he's now making a living just focusing on this. So. That's just incredible. All BVB fans will be next. Next next world champion, maybe, in, <laughs> coming from the Dortmund ranks. That's what we do. We will find someone, yeah, as nearly as skilled as, as Alan, what Alan's doing, man, this would be incredible. But this, yeah. Putting fans first in, into our challenge. So let's see. Whoever feels like we could challenge Alan, um, yeah, sign up and upload your videos. I think that being said, yes, definitely. But also, let's let's make sure that everyone knows it's not you, you're not going to be against Ireland. <laughs> um, don't don't be put off by this. This is uh, yeah, this is the best in the world right now. Um, but really, it's about finding what's next. So yeah, doing something in your backyard, using a wall, using obstacles. There we go. He's he's finished his set. Wow! Right. Awesome. That's all free stuff. That was absolutely fantastic, Erlen. Uh, to, to be to be to be very honest, to be to be very honest, Erlen, uh, 
what you've just done there has mesmerized so many people who are watching the stream right now. Uh, I don't even know if he can probably hear us because his AirPods are not there. <laughs> I hear you now. Yeah. You can? Okay, that's yeah. that's great. But the fact that you inspire so many people right now live on stream and otherwise it's it's absolutely fantastic. And like Dan mentioned, uh that don't worry about going up against Erlen because he's the best in the world. It's about new people learning from you and you showing them what the world exactly. of freestyle can actually take you to you can actually uh live off by just having the ball at your feet exactly how the professional footballers have made a career from so uh now that you've shown us such amazing skills we we would be taking this a bit more forward about talking where the world of uh freestyle is going from you starting with Olin so uh just give us a bit of more your journey as to uh how you started uh and where did you get the first opportunity how did you uh, you know come up to this stage where you are as a world champion uh in the beginning uh i was just practicing with my brother brinjar who is also still freestyling actually so uh, we started together and we we basically started in uh, in the spring and we practiced the the whole summer just by ourselves uh but uh, when we posted some uh, videos on youtube a freestyler started to see us and in norway at least and then we got uh, we found out that it was a national championship uh, in in august and then we decided to join that and just for fun because we thought just uh, just go for it and meet the people and that's really a great advice just to jump into it and try to connect with the freestyle community where you are from uh, because uh, yeah now i maybe the best thing is through instagram or something else uh, so yeah we just gave it a shot and uh, we loved it so after that uh, we have been just uh, training a lot and uh, been joining several events uh, both uh, competitions and being hired for shows and different other activities so yeah just uh, go for it <laughs> that's great and there's one thing that Dan had mentioned at the start of this uh, of the stream that uh, it's it's not about the number of views that come on a video probably say there'll be 30 million views but people would not know who's inside it so how do you how do you make the most of your name how do you get there that i am different from the others like how you have done being a world champion what's what's the difference <clears throat> yeah one of the most important things is to have uh, your own moves so you shouldn't just uh, blindly copy another freestyler uh of course in the be- beginning and the first years you have to do that because uh what are you else going to do but after some time you just need to try to develop some some of your own moves and uh, and also uh, just work on your general level uh i think it's also really important to uh, be complete uh especially that's um, that benefits you in competitions so being able to do lowers of first sit downs and transitions really well. Yeah, so those are some aspects of Twista. Thank you so much for answering that. I appreciate it. And uh I, I want to ask Martin though. I want to ask Martin this question uh and it's it's that uh that the people like Erlen obviously a world champion now can, can he help professional players from BVB to become better also in traditional football. I I I mean uh this is something i think i would i would shoot to 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 martin of course <laughs> i actually believe so of course i'm i'm not i'm neither a professional football coach nor did i ever play professional football um but what we see in germany at least is that we for the offensive part of of the game that we want to have players who are creative who can go one and one who have speed and i think all this ball control ball movement i think this everything would help definitely also in a normal game of football i think later on we will have some other guests who might share some yeah more thoughts on this one but i i do believe that this is actually um something where for traditional football and also like on the pitch playing 11 a side could benefit from yeah that's that's great and what do you what do you think olindo can can you as a freestyler 
help uh, help footballers, the traditional football players of Borussia Dortmund, to learn more skills. And probably you can see maybe uh, maybe you know Erling Haaland doing uh, a couple of nutmegs in the in in the <laughs> Bundesliga, <laughs> and uh, you know doing some. I don't know some some crazy skills that you do and help them to become better better players in that that sense. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not sure if uh, if I can, but uh, at least for myself, uh, when I was really young, uh, I still played football, regular football, and uh, the first half year where I also trained a lot of freestyle football, uh, I got so much better technically. So it really helped me on the pitch as well. So. At least in the beginning, I think maybe if you have uh, have been doing freestyle just for yeah half a year or a year, I think uh, or just a few months, I think it could benefit uh, at least your ball control and you could get some different angles on on it. So yeah, but I'm not sure what level the footballers are at either. But uh, yeah, it's individual, I guess. That's that's really nice to know. So there there are two things we'll be moving forward with now, and that's first to for me to ask everyone in the stream if they want to see some uh, some skills from our friend Erlend here, which can be actually implemented on the pitch. So th- those are the kind of skills uh-huh. that you can actually do in, a, in 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 a game of football, which is something that more people are interested in because obviously a person even like me who has played football, I cannot even do what he just did there with like. Multiple around the world, so that's not possible. So the basic things, if you could show that, uh, I think that would be great. And then after that, we'll be talking to Dan about uh, if the WFFA is like looking at making this an Olympic discipline and what are the talks and what what are his plans about all of these things because it will be very beneficial for uh, for all the all the aspiring freestylers in the future. So uh, if I can request Erlin to show these skills right now, I think that would be great. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't say I'm like uh, really good at those kind of tricks, but uh, there are some basic tricks I think uh, uh, most people can learn. Uh, I think a few of you have heard about it. It's uh, an akka, where you kind of uh, uh, fool your opponent to thinking the ball is going that way, but then it's going that way. So okay. the basic trick there is to... Uh, is it? is to juggle or just flick the ball up like this and hit it on the side of your your uh, leg and then on your foot. So you go like... Wow. Can you so, have a slow-mo of that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. one move and there are, of course, others, but you can all, all always search on YouTube as well to find these kind of moves yeah yeah I, th- I think that's a wonderful skill because if if i was in a position like i play in fifa as well if i was in a position between two defenders i would do that uh yeah to, to be you know go through them i think that's a very nice skill for Erlen to show us that thank you so much for that uh all right let's 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 move to uh the important topic that's something i want dan and martin both to talk about starting with dan of course that uh do you think this can become an Olympic discipline? Do you think we are getting there? And in the future, uh, what, what are the things that are required and what, what are the things that will uh, make freestyle a, a proper recognized uh, you know, event and, or a sport rather in, in, in Olympics? It's uh, Thank you. It's a great question. Um, it's a recurring question, I'd say, that we all get. Um, yeah, quick answer is yes. I, I totally think that it's it's got the potential, especially when you look at the the evolution of how people are playing sports and what sports are being recognised already. You, everyone's seeing, you know, break dancing in the next Olympics. Uh, there's parkour, there's BMX. All these urban disciplines are are becoming more popularised. Um, so yeah, why not? Is my quick answer. But I think, you know, the reality is we're already. An established sport even though it's not obviously as, as publicized and known so we're half the challenge is done um i don't think it's about the whole sport i think because because the culture of freestyle is is very um street orientated it, it wants to stay that we want to protect the community and keep the the values that we have so you know just for the sake of getting more popularity it goes back to the popularity question 
you know um do we do we change the whole structure of everything just to make it fit to to another discipline or, or a bigger event we'll see but um but the ambition is there from from everyone i'd say you know the more events the better because it gives more platform for more freestylers to be seen and especially for more fans to feel like they can get involved in a sport and, and represent their country one one day um and given the popularity of, of football I think that this is the uh, a great vehicle to to potentially be in the spotlight in the future. That is fantastic. And Martin, what are your thoughts on the same? I'm actually thinking about basketball as maybe a example mm -hmm. which which might fit for this. So I think there will be three three, three versus yeah. three basketball for Olympics in Tokyo this summer. Yeah. And you also know this is like typical street ball. I'm playing basketball myself as well. It's like it's a complete different culture behind yeah. um, compared to um, full court five on five basketball so like Dan said I don't see why this can like freestyle football cannot be Olympic at some time soon of course the parameters must be clear but then again I think I see big potential um, it's definitely not a subcategory of traditional football but um, if there could be a three on three basketball why not freestyle football in the future I mean, just, just to actually add one more thing, I think that looking back, if we fast forward and then look back to this moment and this, this conversation, um, I believe, I, don't, I would like to think, but also I, I actually believe that, that BBB will be a cornerstone of that popularity rising. Like this, is a, this is a big step forward for us and another reason we're excited about this partnership is it's about visibility and then popularity and participation at the end of the day. So, um, so yeah, maybe if, if it does happen, then there'll be creds to, to BVB for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, ab yeah. ab absolutely. No, no, I, and just to add to that, like uh, expanding to different parts of the world uh, with BVB, and of course you said you have multiple freestylers, uh, recognized freestylers all over the world. There's one thing that I want to ask specifically to the both of you, and probably to Erland as well, uh, that without any sort of guidance how can someone actually move forward and look for uh, events or tournaments or that keep on happening because you need a platform and the best of the best have that but for the people who are coming up what's that one thing to do one thing to do in in this in particular this case, case. Um, i will just add that and i will we'll bring Alan back in in a minute because i can we can get his his uh, actual journey there but i mean one of the beauties of, of freestyle is there is no segregation between elitism and, be and beginners. So the events are global, especially as we've seen in the last 12 months again, there's first of all online events all year round. Um, you, you've only got to type freestyle football into Google or any, any search engine and you'll find other freestylers in your area. You'll find them, you know, other channels and then there'll be meetups and there'll be events promoted so it's a very free to access and free to promote sport so that's one thing but yeah again to start out you did like everything you need some inspiration you need to to benchmark you need to learn and and i remember Ireland, especially uh, coming to european championships we were organizing and you know many years ago now and as a young boy <laughs> like looking around it must have been I mean, he's a ridiculously tall now, but this imagine him half the size um, around so many elite freestylers of that era. You know, um, in fact, his one of his mentors, shall I call him, in, in Norway there, who, who manages the Norwegian scene, he won that event. And, you know, you've got to look up to these people, but at the same time, you can train with them. You know, it's a very open access sport. We're, we're all friends. It's a family, um, family kind of vibe. Is that fair to say, Ellen? Yeah, I would say so. It's, uh, it's a very welcoming com community, I would say. We are uh, open that anyone can uh, can join, for sure. So don't really? be intimidated. It goes back to that message. Don't be intimidated by, by the skills you see. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone starts somewhere. Um, I think it's, uh, it's probably individual from country to country how you should contact them in the beginning. But... Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, good Instagram pages for football freestyle in general as well. Like I am a freestyler and DWFA, uh, and also 
uh, I think you can just, just search for freestylers uh, in your country and you will find the contact and they will probably add you to the national freestyle group. I guess uh, many countries have that. And, and, and also adding to that even more, again, it goes, I guess I would question the purpose as to why, you know, so to be a professional freestyler is, is to be fair, just like any other professional discipline. It's like gaming, um, look, Manu as well, right? You, you, if you don't put the hours in and you don't dedicate yourself to it, then the, the chances of being pro are, are, are limited. We would say that our participation is first for us. It's not about having to get on the stage. If you feel too nervous around people or, or other um, situations, you can still enjoy freestyle. It's not about having to get onto the stage or play against others. Um, you can still share in the community. But yeah, like anything, the ones who really dedicate time have a, have a very quick and open pathway to get to the top. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic because that's exactly how it is in every, every, every field of work, especially when it comes to sports, that it, be it esports or be it sports, you have to put in the hours and, and, and you, need, you need a mentor and you need an organization that is there to guide you. And I think that's exactly what WFFA you guys are doing. And Erland, of course, being the world champion is actually going to guide all the aspiring freestylists that are going to come through this partnership uh, is going to make it a great success. So, um, uh, we we can uh, now probably show you guys uh, the uh, the WFFA page uh, on on Instagram right now uh, where it's uh, where it talks about what basically WFFA is all about. So we'll just pull that up in a second. It's all uh, the courtesy of Dan and all the efforts that's that's he's put in, and and, and that's there for you. You can you can see it on your screens how. Uh, how much uh, it talks about, how much it speaks, one Instagram profile, how much it can talk about the journeys of all the freestylists and, um, you know, how it works basically around the world. So, so Dan, how has it been in terms of uh, reaching out to people on social media? Like, uh, obviously, reaching out to the communities via your Instagram handles or via your Twitter handles and, and, and making sure that uh, people hear about it and people know about what the association is all about. So, uh, well, I think it's about the, the sport rather than the association. I'll probably be told off by everyone in the team for, for saying that. But yeah, our priority is, is allowing the community to talk. And, and it's, about, it's not about being a powerful brand that, that dictates what goes on. Like we, we focus on allowing, building the stage and the platforms to allow talent to flourish and to give everyone a chance. So for us, um, we've got an amazing community leader. Shout out to, to Daniel, who I know is tuning in and the I Am A Freestyler page. So Daniel, he, he and uh, his team manage the, the social media. Um, so there's constant activity, I, I guess, to answer your question though more, more directly, constant activity. Every day there's, there's new videos, there's new tricks being created all over the world by different people. So we want to promote that and, and to share that. Um, yeah, it's, it's social media era, right? So everyone has a voice. Everyone can can share or, or post their own versions of, of moves, which feeds directly into why Martin and the team wanted to do this. You know, let's let's feed those tricks and those skills into um, a platform where we can then reward beginners, let's let's say, um, and and aspiring fans and um, and players of the future. Oh, that's that's absolutely fantastic and 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 the impact it's had on on people's lives it's it's honestly fantastic because with with Erlen, uh being the you know the, the face of it to be honest like from what i've seen i've been bamboozled absolutely bamboozled by his skills because it's uh, it's incredible how it can come out as an entertainment prospect apart from uh just uh, you know just making sure the sport grows you know what i mean dan like it's it's actually something which comes as an entertainment factor and i think that's a huge huge aspect of any sport that people are entertained people are uh glued to it but nonetheless uh, uh we have had a fantastic conversation and uh, we'll obviously come back in a while but we are going to be uh taking a short break and before that we'll be showing you the official trailer of the partnership between wffa and bvb uh but thank you so much for uh, for the guests as you know who are here right now and we'll be having uh, a special guest after we resume from that break uh, and we'll, we'll 
talk more about it when we come back but enjoy the trailer and uh thank you so much guys for tuning in as of now we'll be uh we'll be right back yeah Jawohl, Junge. Ganz klasse. Kreativ, der Junge. Hello everyone, we would love to see your skills. Post the clips here. Yeah. Alright guys, we are... Uh, Going on, All you so have to do, have put your black and yellow oh, colors on, get your How, football, it, and film your Enjoy freestyle yourselves. skills. And now, it's your turn.
Hi hey guys, welcome back to the BVB official live stream for this evening. And today's topic was, of course, the partnership between BVB and the WFFA. Uh, we have Dan with us, Dan Wood. As I already introduced him, but if if you are coming to the stream right now, it's a pleasure to have the co-founder of the World Freestyle Association with us and talking about uh, how they have made strides strides in the in the world of freestyle and uh, of course now partnering up with pvb so just to go back on that discussion dan uh, there's one thing that like i would just like to let all the viewers know again is is how much it has impacted the traditional football as well and how much uh, people actually can relate uh, freestyling to traditional football and how it's helped both ways so if you could just share your thoughts on that definitely yeah it's it's such a a highly debated subject in our community um and but i think that the, the overall positives are you've got uh, the reality check which is obviously just because you can juggle the ball and you can do some crazy tricks with the ball um doesn't automatically mean you're going to be then a good footballer as well um however it is the basics and uh, and that's where i think the what we've found over the last or i've seen over the last 20 years is the uh, evolution of the player you know the, the the amount of tricks and the confidence that you do see on the ball with individuals in the game of football now is is more than ever um and then yeah the greatest players if you if you look even at, um, as i mentioned earlier you know the maradonas and the ronaldinho's who have inspired freestyle now even more for sure over their careers um how did they get that good right that's there's a massive question how if they never had a trainer to teach them exactly how to be the level they were and the answer is they they built their confidence in the street they they had a ball at their feet they were juggling the ball they brought that into their warm ups they train whenever they can on the ball um to improve the fundamentals so that's what freestyle is for me the the, the influence it can have into the game of football is to really empower better development of fundamental skills such as balance rhythm coordination first touch of course uh, control in general but also the mental skills so the you know um, having self confidence which you you build naturally from failure freestyle you're going to drop the ball 95% of the time <laughs> especially in the early stages but that failure leads to confidence and that and, and you adjust and you learn so yeah i think the the mental health the the the, the vision of staying fit and healthy um in confined spaces i think there's so many positives that with more people embracing freestyle we can inspire more children to to learn from it um and that's where yeah we're so thankful to to this relationship with with bbb to kick it off to reverse that question as you you mentioned as well the other way around how can football influence us i think it's the it's the biggest game in the world right is everyone everyone knows football you can go anywhere get in any taxi and and speak football to to anyone if you don't even know the language so um that's where you know if we want to dream a little we i'd love to see in the future that the airlands and the yanics and the torrens the valeries the, the freestylers that are involved in in this project um and everyone else sorry and everyone listening um that they become recognized just as much and and it gives a, a chance to anyone um to to make their way into the industry of sport it's not just just football that's fantastic to to hear this from your first hand because uh football has an impact on everybody's life especially in in it, like basically the whole world actually i i don't know one continent which does not follow football it's a global game and with freestyle being a part of it i think uh, it, it's it's only one way and that is to to keep going up uh, but nonetheless now it's time for us to actually introduce uh, one of the one of the guests that we've been waiting for so long to jump on the stream and 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 that is uh, patrick obumoyela and i think it's really nice to have him here with us because he's as we all know as a bbb uh, family and bbb fans that he's played for uh, bruce dorton so uh, we're still 
waiting for the confirmation for him to join probably some some technical difficulty but we will have him on board real soon uh and i will let you know guys when he hops on to the stream but until then uh dan uh what are your uh, what are your thoughts on um uh the impact of wffa on uh the traditional football in terms of just bvb like how do you think bvb is going to be influenced by your presence and how is it going to impact the local academies the kids on you know everybody on the street who plays football just for fun like all, all those things combined together how, how is it going to bring that much of uh, excitement to the fans here i think it's an it, it should be seen anyway and i hope it will be received in uh, in the same way as an evolution so the the game of football the industry of football is evolving so so quickly as we're seeing whether that's on the the technical digital side of the game um or the business around it as well um the fact that most clubs speaking here to you is a great example involve you know they've involved the esports now there's esports divisions and teams within clubs uh for me it's a natural next step that that you go to the streets and you want to build skills in the streets from the fans up from schools um and it's expensive though you know to set up uh, academies and to scout and to to be out there all the time finding talent um and yet there is a very very small percentage of those that actually break through to play for their for the teams in the end as well so i think freestyle is is part of that evolution of um embracing the fan embracing youth allowing more people to express themselves and uh, and yeah with with BBB leading the way hopefully we can we can find some talent and if they it's not about again not about playing the 90 minutes at the end hopefully some will <laughs> but at very least we can uh, we can shine a light on the on the talents and the skills that everyone has got whether you say you have or not everyone can do something um and yeah have a go just just uh, be a part of this family so yeah absolutely i, th- I hello, think hello uh-huh. all right there we go we have the mm-hmm. legend himself Hey Patrick, can you hear us? Yes, now I can hear you. Very nice to have you here. I was just introducing you to the stream and to all the fans and talking about uh the former BBB player himself and just 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 before we start the conversation Patrick, I don't know you might remember this or not, but back back in 2019 you had come to India for the virtual Bundesliga event. Yes. And I did meet you personally and I do have a picture with you as well. I don't ah, know if you remember this. Okay. I, yeah. I I actually I don't. It was but it was a nice little uh, little uh, happening there. I I remember that a lot of guys were, were playing and we had some nice photos in in the entree and stuff. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that event unfortunately and sorry for that, but I I didn't really recognize you right away. Sorry. No, th- that's not a problem. Like it, it was a fun moment anyway for me to <laughs> to, to to meet you. So Yes, but obviously now we have you here and uh, we all know about how fantastic the partnership between the BBB and WFFA is. So, uh, first of all I would like you to uh, talk about what are your thoughts on this and then we could probably move move on to more specific topics. My my thoughts on what in particular? The partnership between BBB and the Freestyle Association and what do you think it's going to have an impact in terms of fans and the community engagement and all the people coming up through this yeah i mean obviously it's a it's a huge community and uh, um i think esports in total is a, is a is a growing market is a is a huge market and as a as a club as a company you always have to to tap into new directions and to new departments to to gain or create more more um more growth in in uh, certain certain ways and um i think it's it's a good thing it's a good uh, thing to stay connected to a, to a, be community as i mentioned and to to stay involved stay in touch and then give fans and and uh, and and uh, uh, people the chance to to actively uh, be part of something involving the club 
that's fantastic, Patrick. Thank you so much for your views on that. So uh, now we're going to be discussing, uh, and I'll throw this over to Dan, uh, the uh, football versus freestyle football, because that's our topic for today. And uh, and obviously, if uh, Patrick, if uh, you haven't met Dan before, Dan Wood is the co-founder of the World Freestyle Association. Okay. Uh, and yes, and he will be in discussion with us today about the development of freestyle football and mm-hmm. integration of freestyle football and all these championships that are held throughout the world uh, with traditional football. So we'll be specifically now moving on to the BVB World Championship that's uh, it's in Czech Republic. So Dan, if you could shed some light on that, I think that would be fantastic. Absolutely. Patrick, it's, a, it's an honor. Pleasure to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. I, uh, as an Englishman, when I, I want to ask this first question because uh, I know what it's like when the view of a freestyle trick or something is seen as, a, as an English football player and, and fan. But I want to ask you, so when you were playing, mm-hmm. be honest now, well, <laughs> when someone's <laughs> running at you and they've got flashy boots on and they're doing some crazy step overs and, and tricks and trying to, what's your honest feeling back then when you were playing? Was, was there a place for that in the game back then? Uh, there was. I mean, I played against people like Ronaldinho back in his prime, yeah. and he was quite fancy with his feet. Yeah, yeah, I, I figure so. Um, uh, obviously, I had th- these kind of situations from time to time, and it, it depending on on what kind of opponent it was, um, it could it could really you know um, sometimes make you angry and and and, and uh, get you to to be a little more determined to stop him maybe and, and let him feel that there's no room for this in, 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 in my area, in my, in my department. Um, uh, sometimes it's, it's frightening when you know those guys are really good and they have so much, uh, so many skills in their pocket that they, you know, can rip you apart in just a, a, a blink of an eye. And so, so it's frightening sometimes to know to that that this guy coming at you and you know he can go left or right or right through you if he wants to. So it's uh, yeah, it, it it depends. But usually, uh, when you have skillful guys as on the other side, it's it's always a good thing to to measure yourself against them as a defender myself. So playing against those guys was was always a a, a good thing in my in in my eyes. Awesome. Good to hear. <laughs> now, again, in, I know the uh, the attitude in England was always, you can't do that on a field, so what's the point? And you'd be, kicked, <laughs> you'd be hard kicked off to the side, for sure. <laughs> but stuff is done on the field. I mean, not just nowadays, oh, yeah. back then as well, but nowadays yeah. even more. They, there's a lot of tricks involved in, 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 in regular football. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nice. Thanks for that. Um, cool. So, yeah, so to bring you and everyone, I guess, up to speed. So we... We organize freestyle now for the last 10 years, um, officially as a, as a sport. We have competitions in, in almost, well, we have 114 country um, associations around the world. And the World Championships is coming up, the World Open Championships in Prague. It's an annual event that we have there. So hundreds of the best freestylers come, come in to compete over a whole week to, to win the title. Mm-hmm. And that's something we're going to evolve with, with BBB now um, as this relationship continues is how do we get more of these events to give the platform and the stage to the fan, to give the, you know, the, the youth mm-hmm. player, as, as you know, you know to, to get that chance to actually play professional football one day is, is still very slim for, for the majority of people out there. So I think one, one really positive thing here and interested in your thoughts on, on this as a culture, but uh, how do we get more children, more young people active? All you need is a ball. You can do this anywhere at home. Um, and there's stages now to, to be seen on as well. Uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, you have to get the, the kids involved and uh, get them away from only playing esports and only sitting in front of the television, go outside and really play some some ball and do some sports, just do anything. But, you know, uh, uh, let let some digital uh, thing tell you what to do. So um, that's that's uh, first of all, something we we as 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 uh, as a people should should, uh, yeah, evolve in more because uh it, it turned a little bit i mean obviously it's easy me being a parent myself it's easy to to get the kids quiet 
put, just put a handheld in, in their hands or a, a mobile phone or give them a, a controller of something. And, uh, and they are, you know, they, they give you some room for a little bit. But um, no, get kids out there. You're absolutely right. All you need is a ball. And that's how I grew up, actually, just being outside, just uh, having a ball in my hand or at my feet and play against uh, each other and try to, to find the, not just the, the most fancy way, but the, the best way to get around somebody or get past somebody and um the opportunity should be there so um i'm involved in some charities that are building playgrounds uh with cages football cages that's inspiring for many kids to go in there and play a little one-on-one three-on-three whatever so um there's already a start there but um first of all it's it's probably education just tell the kids it's important to to uh, to move and to be outside and to play with other children against other children measure yourself compete that's something that's uh, very important and especially in youth to compete to feel what it's like to to win to to be on the upper deck or to to even lose that's probably even more important to get in touch with that as well so um, there's a lot of things that kids can gain from from freestyle football or football itself and then being outside and active Love it. Yeah. And, and because we're seeing more and more, I mean, there's, there's, it's always, I guess, been part of the warm up. you could say, you know, people, you, you juggle the ball. Uh, you mentioned Ronaldinho. He's, he's obviously yeah. one of the trendsetters here. You know, he was doing his own thing whilst the team are warming up together. He's off juggling. And uh, I think that's, that's actually become more accepted in football. And, and it's because of the fundamentals, as you mentioned, if we can build more self-confidence, more mental stability, more, acceptance of failure um and and all the the, the core balance body awareness that mm-hmm. that i think has often been forgotten in traditional you know yeah. football building academies yeah. it's definitely diff- different now and, and i think again with this partnership bbb can be leading the way um <laughs> we can get some great examples of how we can really inspire young people to to enjoy to the become, ball to become the next Jaden sancho and use it all on the pitch on the, on the big screen yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even if it even if at the end of the day it only improves that one touch, but it's that it's that millimeter that you need, right? Yeah. To to have a chance and to yeah. score a goal or to to save a goal. Um so yeah. I mean, but 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 times are changing. And uh, to me, when when I was uh, playing at BVB, there was actually no uh special areas mm-hmm. with special training or skill training uh, um um things like like i don't know what's the name of this it, it almost looks like table tennis but it's a little bit of yeah, yeah. Netball, right so we have all of this around now we have small uh, cages as i mentioned on the training ground so yeah. we have all of these opportunities to to play a little bit more of like freestyle football and and and, and train those kind of skills you need in tech ball to control the ball better to juggle it better maybe and and to play in in tight spaces and stuff so that wasn't there when i was around so we're already heading in the right direction i think yeah. and um these kind of partnerships as as we are talking about right now are quite quite helpful probably and a result of this as well good stuff yeah mm-hmm. all right okay. that that is fantastic and uh I mean, we'll quickly be going on a short break because we will be adding a couple more guests to to the conversation as well. But before we do that, uh, before we do that, I would like uh, Dan to talk about and discuss this with obviously Ovo now that you guys are here. It's football and freestyle football, which is the best possible combination for this discussion today. Is is the fact that the football academies in BVB locally and apart from that on the outside as well uh, that it's freestyle street football and the creativity in youth development and as Ovo said and I read this in the chat as well all you need is a ball uh, how do you develop on that how do you take that forward and make sure that players are becoming professionals in both freestyle and in traditional football uh, Dan I would like to start with you yeah, I mean, I can't speak on the, the professional side, so definitely over to you, uh, Patrick, for that. But um, I think the what we see, and again, only at youth level, I remember playing, and, and the dependency that, that youth have on a coach is still there. Like, it, and, and rightly so. It's one of the most important role models in any young person's, especially an aspiring footballer, is your, your football coach. Um, I think what's changing and what needs to, to be even more accelerated is that that's taking responsibility for your own development and that's where I feel we can add real value is 
setting your own goals, setting your own challenges that that aren't about the stamina and how far you can run and and keeping up with the team play, but just spending a bit of quality time on your own um, at home or in, with your friends in the park um, instead of waiting for the whistle to blow for your coach to call you in for training. That that for me is the starting point of this this conversation and. Yeah, I don't know what it's whether that is a reality that you, that you felt as well, Patrick, because it the dependency is too much maybe at sometimes. Um, yeah, but it, there's I mean in, in in regular football there's the pressure to make it in the team. Uh, in uh, to become a professional, you have to you know move within certain boundaries. So you you are you are bound to 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 that. You're depending on 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 a coach on a club that gives you the opportunity to do that and and. Um, so you need all that. There's probably a difference with freestyle football, as you said. You, you need a ball. You can meet up in the park with your friends and set your own goals. To become a pre- professional in, 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 in real football, obviously you need to do well in a club and in a team structure. And uh, you, you'll be measured by a coach. And, and uh, he's, he's not just the most important uh, role model for you. He's, he's uh, what you say, the... Um, no, what's the English word for it? Um, what's Richter of English? Of Deutsch is judge. He's a judge. judge. Oh, yeah. okay. The judge as well. And uh, so um, there might be differences, but still it's, it, 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 it can feed of, both can feed of each other, probably, I, I'd say, and, and, and can fuel each other as well. I mean, becoming very well on, on, on the street level, street football level or freestyle level can help you become better in, in, in a regular football team structure and, and team play um, because you have developed a better skill, a better, better control of the ball and whatever. And um, there's, um, there's, I wouldn't say it's, it's um, really comparable. It's obviously right. two different things, but um, there are a lot of similarities. Yeah, I think that, that's it. And that's the thing to, to summarize this, this point for you, look, Manu, I think it is, they're not, um, interdependent they, they don't have to rely on each other but they could do and maybe they should do more in the future to embrace more people and to allow more people to to develop at their own rate um as you said you're never going to go against the coach but this is more maybe let's find more moments during the week to push yourself to another level and to to learn something new and to to develop those fundamental skills as well absolutely Thank you guys for that discussion, that particular topic. I think that was uh, really something that all of us needed to understand is that they're not really interdependent, but they need to be in sync to, for the development of uh, of the world-class talents, the potential world-class talents that come through uh, by just playing football, just picking up the football and then going and making a name for themselves. But anyway, with that being said, we'll quickly go on a short break now and after which we will be introducing a couple more guests back into the stream. So uh, we will see you guys back real shortly.
Hi right, guys, we are back live for this evening stream at BBB official channel. And uh, the topic of today was, of course, to talk between the uh, partnership between the World Freestyle Association and Borussia Dortmund. And uh, obviously, uh, we have had a fantastic conversation with uh, Patrick being here and, and, and Dan, for the co-founder of the uh, World Freestyle Association, coming on board with us. So uh, it's it's really nice to have you guys back in uh, into the stream. And just, just a quick... Uh, uh, question to to the both of you, and 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 that is to uh, just give give out a message to the community. Uh, and I I know you guys have a busy schedule after this, so we'll have to let you guys go in a bit. But just just a message from both of you. I'll start with Patrick as to how how to uh, you know go forward with this, and how how to make sure that you uh, that you follow your dreams, you follow your passion, be it freestyle football or be it traditional football. Dan, you want to start? Mine's start. very simple. Absolutely. I, 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 <laughs> Give um, me some inspiration here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I will leave with our official hashtag. All you need is a ball. 
Um, for me, like the, the ball, the football is the unifying factor for us all here. You know, we're, we're all in different parts of the world right now, um, but we're talking the same language because of, of what that ball can do. So it doesn't matter what your dreams are, um, but uh, enjoy yourself, express yourself, pick up a ball and, um, and have a go. You know, people, people have a fear of failure that, uh, that everyone's always watching, but it's not about that. I think with us and BVB, we want to give a bit of confidence to everyone to just have fun and uh, express yourself. Yeah, that sounds fantastic. Actually, it's it, there's there's a real similarity here to to what I would say. Um, uh, becoming a footballer shouldn't be a goal. It should be uh, just your passion, uh, your passion evolving. And uh, all you need is a ball to start that. Just take it and 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 play and do what you love. Have fun while doing it. Um, it's socializing. It's connecting with uh, people, um, and it's it's great fun. And uh, you never know what comes uh, comes out of it, actually, and, and what it develops into. But um, it's not 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 just the sky is the limit. Uh, there is no limit, actually, to to what can happen and what can, you can achieve in life and in the sport. So um, all you need to do is actually start doing it, and um, yeah, and and love what you're doing. That's that's my message. That is fantastic. Thank you so much uh, to the both of you for giving out that message to everybody. And uh, with that being said, Dan and Patrick, thank you so much for your time. We'll be quickly taking a short break and showing you guys the trailer actually between the partnership of BVB and the World Football World Freestyle Association. And it was really nice to have you guys. Bye bye. Thanks for having thank us. You. Thank bye. you. Thank you. Jawohl, Junge. Ganz klasse. Kreativ, der Junge. Hello, everyone. We would love to see your skills. Post the clips here. All you have to do, put your black and yellow colors on, get your football and film your freestyle skills. And now it's your turn. Jawohl, Junge. Ganz klasse. Kreativ, der Junge. Hello everyone, we would love to see your skills. Post your clips here. All you have to do, put your black and yellow colors on, get your football and film your freestyle skills. And now it's your turn. Jawohl, Junge. Ganz klasse. Kreativ, der Junge. Hello everyone, we would love to see your skills. Post your clips here. All you have to do, put your black and yellow colors on, get your football and film your freestyle skills. And now it's your turn. Thank <laughs> you.
Jawohl, Junge. Ganz klasse. Kreativ, der Jung. Hello everyone, we would love to see your skills. Post your clips here. All you have to do, put your black and yellow colors on, get your football and film your freestyle skills. And now it's your turn. All right, we are back again. Uh, to all the new viewers coming in, welcome to the BVB official channel for today's stream. And the topic was uh, the amazing partnership that is uh, in pen down between Borussia Dortmund and the World Freestyle Association. And to, to talk more about this, to talk about the challenge specifically, uh, we have Martin here from BVB who's looking forward, uh, who's taking care of the Asia region specifically. We would like, I would like to uh, introduce him to talk about the amazing prizes that are there for this freestyle challenge. Talk a bit uh, about what the challenge is and then what are the prizes and what are the sort of categories that you can get those uh, prizes in uh, for yourselves. Sure. Thanks, Jolakum and you. Basically, we started uh, this BVB freestyle challenge um, beginning of this month. And then in the whole month of June, um, BVB fans all over the world will have the chance to upload their skill video. Um, and then in the big grand final, we then will have BVB judges who will select uh, top three winners. So we'll have in total three winners. Each winner will have the chance to receive a big BVB merchandise box worth 600 euros. And then also signatures um, products by the freestylers signed by Alan, um, also by Ovo Mujela, Patrick Ovo Mujela, who just joined here as BBB legend. So this is like the big three prizes. Um, and as before we mentioned, it's all about participation. We want our football fans to showcase their skills to join um, this freestyle challenge. So we will have three winners, um, one for the category of pro, one is categorized um, as amateur, and then we'll have another winner for the most creative, most entertaining video. So yeah, looking forward to, to see your videos and then we'll also be able to show some um, videos which got uploaded already. That is fantastic, Martin. And before, uh, before we move on to the other topics, I would like you to introduce Bilal. Uh, lovely to have you here, Bilal. And uh, if Martin could give us that introduction of Bilal and then I would be more than happy to give the introduction of Eldin, to be honest. Yeah, let's go ahead. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. welcome, Bilal. Um, yeah, thanks for having me here. One of our youth coaches from our football academy. Um, he played himself semi-professional football. So he's uh, not only a good football teacher coach, but also um, I think he's still playing. Maybe he can um, yeah, give some more details about this in a bit. And we're happy to have him here as one of our BBB judges who can who's a skillful player himself, so he can judge um, freestyle technical control um, as a football coach, but also as a player himself. So he will be our main contact as a sportive expert. Yes, thanks for having me here, guys. Um, my name is Bilal, as Martin mentioned. Um, I used to play professional in Turkey and also for BVB in the second team. And yes, I'm playing football since I'm seven or eight years old and um, I have a huge respect for the freestyle um, tricks from, uh, from our freestylers because I know um, how hard the tricks are and how much work goes into them. Therefore, um, once again, a huge respect from me. Um, yes, I'm very happy to be here, to be part of it 
Um, Thank you so much, Bilal, for joining us for this. Yes, it's really nice to know your profile and how you've come up through the ranks of playing professional football. And now you'll be one of one of the people who are involved in this amazing partnership that is between the WFFA and BBB. Now, let me introduce the young prodigy, uh, Eldin, uh, my friend. I know how amazing you are as a FIFA player, one of the top players in the region. Welcome in. Uh, introduce yourself to all of us. Obviously, everybody knows you, but still, just, just to say it again. Yes, yes, you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Um, thanks for having me first, Locke. And my name is Eldin. Eldos is my is my here uh, FIFA name. And I'm 17 years old and I'm the e-footballer of BBB. So I'm playing FIFA professional. Wow, that is fantastic, Eldin. So we, we, we all know how good you are on uh, on the sticks on the controller for BBB and I'm, I'm pretty sure you've inspired so many players to uh, you know to be a part of this project as well but thank you so much for joining into the stream and now we'll be taking a look at the videos the contestant videos that are uh, that all the contenders for this challenge have posted up uh, we'll be quickly showing you these videos now So we could uh, we could be talking about it side by side, of course. Uh, and I, I would be more than happy to have Bilal's views on it. I would more than happy to see Dan's views on it. Even even Eldos, for that matter, because Eldos, we know this. Uh, we cannot yes. be doing these skills in yes. FIFA while playing professionally, but we can definitely do this while we're enjoying in the practice arena. So. As soon as the video start, you let you tell me what are the skills that you like, and probably Bilal can give his views on it as well. Okay, okay. Right, perfect. All right. So these, this is the first video, of course, that we can see. And even Erland is here, I, I guess. If Erland, uh, if, if if you're there in the uh, in, in in the call, I would definitely uh, you you can show his. I mean, you can you can talk about these, and then we like to see Erland's skills as well after this because he did show us that before, and a lot of people might have missed. But when we when he will be back, we'll be showing you his uh, his skills as well. So I'm not sure Ellen can see all of the, the videos at the same time, but for sure we've got a, a pro entry there in the in the first take by, by the looks of things. Um, that's awesome to see. Really good. Yeah, that, that was fantastic, honestly. I'm, I'm looking forward to all, all, all the clips that we're going to be watching. Uh, it's good as well. Wow. Nice. What do you have to say about that, Bilal? How how is that video? That, that's some talent right there. That was fast. Two times around around the world. Um, I can do it one time, but you have to be very fast to do it. Um, yes, two times. Oh. Yeah, that, that was absolutely clear. I think the, wow. the entries that we're seeing is just absolutely phenomenal right now. Great. Nice. <laughs> And that's all it takes, Not right? Just 15 seconds. Uh, you don't don't have to do too much. It's uh, it's down to you individually. But there's some some fantastic uh, examples here already. Yeah. Now I'm connected to the Twitch as well, so I can see what's uh, happening. Oh, that's that's amazing. I mean, I mean, you look at these things. I, I think that's only something me and Eldos can do when we're playing FIFA. But nowhere near to the, <laughs> nowhere to yeah. uh, what these guys are doing in real life that's fantastic amazing good to see some girls involved as well it's definitely for everyone it's not not just about uh, the male players amazing amazing <laughs> the way Erland is looking at these uh, these videos it's 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 like he is just about to, 
you know pick these guys up and be like just come and practice with me <laughs> you see the love in yeah. his eyes for for that sort of skills it's amazing really yeah i'm really impressed there are some really good uh, contest com- competitors here Knowing Ellen, he's already thinking of a new move. He's seen something in one of the videos that's given him an idea to to try something new. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. Yeah, we're really. always always trying to find new new stuff. All right, all right. So we uh, can 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 we ask uh, Berlin now to actually show some some of his skills? We did see a lot of skills from you before, but some some new moves now that we have seen some contender videos. But now we could probably see some of your moves because you're the world champion, and everybody wants to look at the world champion. So yeah, go ahead. Why not? Yeah, I will try to show show something new. That's perfect. Watch carefully, Bila. I'm I'm very surprised because these kinds of tricks it's, it's so heavy to do. Oh my god! Wow. Unbelievable. Mes- mesmerizing really mesmerizing stuff it's exactly what patrick said right before he left he said all you need is a ball and the things you can do with with the ball it's it's fantastic just that's all you need actually uh, bilala i presume you're teaching this every session right i presume you're you're demonstrating something similar every, every training session right i try to uh, i try to <laughs> challenge to challenge the kids because um, you have to challenge them um, and um, I think normal footballers would only learn from street footballers because technically they would develop further. Yeah. Yes, so therefore, I teach my kids many different tricks. So I think um, the more tricks you know, the easier you can solve different situations. And therefore, um, if it works out uh, and you get past your opponent, congratulations. <laughs> Absolutely, that's no, great to hear. Yeah, it's yeah, fantastic. Ellen, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, are you are you enjoying this? Do you think we could pull something like this uh, with a controller, maybe? Because we cannot do what Ellen is doing in real life. <laughs> oh no, yeah, he's a great guy. Um, yes, unbelievable. I I've never seen so many freestylers, especially now. He was talking with us one minute ago, and then he did these things, and on the PlayStation most of the skills you can't even do so um gg for me yeah i mean thank you elbows <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic all right so I, I i think i think we might be seeing some some more uh all right just one second and then you can catch your breath again now Yeah, I'm doing so. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you need to catch that breath, like Dan said, because I have <laughs> these questions for you again, and I will keep asking them till you actually uh, teach me these skills personally. <laughs> uh, and, and that is, when did you start? How long have you been doing this? Just another short brief uh, for everybody on the uh, on 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 the chat and and for for the stream as well. Yeah. Yes, so I started with freestyle football in 2009 and uh, I started basically due to a wish for something new. I had always been playing football and I knew some tricks from before, but uh, in 2009 I actually together with my brother uh, discovered freestyle football through YouTube, which was basically the, the perfect match I felt. So it was both a desire for something new and also just how amazing the sport was so and I've been training for 12 years now and going really hard and uh, the sport is still developing and it's uh, just uh, uh, yeah the level has been growing so fast the last 10 years and it's really amazing to be a part of that development and uh, 
yeah, we're still always trying to find new ma new ways and new tricks. That is fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and I and I really really hope that people can learn from you. People can actually uh, look up to you and and you know actually make a career out of this because everybody uh, thinks that you know it's very difficult but it's actually not if you look up to as a mentor if you if you if you have people if pe they have people like you they can always become world champions just like you have done so uh, keep inspiring them and then and, and this partnership surely will help them to grow to new heights and with that being said i would like to go back to martin and talk about the talk about the prizes again uh which which are there for the freestyle challenge and what people can actually win uh just to talk about it real quickly so that everybody gets to know. Yeah. You're on mute. Yeah, no, he's he's on mute right now. We'll, we'll we'll probably fix yeah, that's still starstruck seeing seeing Alan's tricks. Um yeah. <laughs> what, what I've been saying is um, we did choose three different categories. So we will have a winner of amateurs, winner of professional, and then winner of the most funniest, most entertaining video. So basically we hope that we can call out as many fans, as many different yeah, quality levels as well. And then each of this winner will receive a big BVB merchandise box worth um, of 600 euros. And then also signature products, signed products by Alan, for example, and also Patrick Omuyela, our BVB legend who just been part of the stream as well. Yeah, that's that's absolutely fantastic because uh, it's it's not just the prizes. It's 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 about how much uh, how much the journey is like how good the journey is for all these young and upcoming uh, contestants to actually uh, go forward with everything that is going on in terms of this partnership and in participation with the challenge. So. How can we compete in this? Like, if, if I wanted to ask you uh, as a layman, Martin, uh, how do I enter the challenge? How do, how do I go ahead and uh, make a name for myself? How do I show the world what I'm capable of? Just like you mentioned, Locke, um, this challenge is actually just the kickoff project between this partnership of Borussia Dortmund and WFFA. Um, so this is just the start. And then in the future, in the future, as also Dan mentioned, um, in Germany, we have another freestyler on Yannick um, I think we'll get even a closer touch with him to see what um, on content level we can do maybe he will challenge Eldos in a FIFA FIFA friendly match something like this then also they can meet up in person to to shoot some more interesting content um, yeah for how to participate um, actually we will have the upload page which is self-explanatory um, you basically will record yourself with the video from 15 to 30 seconds and i think the stream is showing the, the upload page already yes it yep. is yes yep awesome correct and then um yeah basically you will upload the video make sure there's no product placement make sure you wear ideally a black and yellow jersey so this will definitely get some bonus points um, from our jury from our judges and then we will double check the videos and then within 24 hours, they will upload, be up, be uploaded. And then we will receive an email confirmation that everything is successfully. And then you will also receive a voting page, the link to the voting page, which you can send out to family and friends. So you can get as many votes as possible because this qualification round is only scheduled for this month um, until June 30th. And after June 30th, we will choose the top 16 videos, the top 16 contestants with the most likes, and we'll invite these to the final stage then. That is wonderful. Thank you so much, Martin, for explaining that. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory, as he already mentioned, that how you have to go ahead and upload your videos uh, to become a part of this. Uh, and uh, with, th with that being said, I think we have covered everything that we could uh, for for this for the stream and and for the whole challenge and i would really appreciate if dan could uh say a few words about everything that we talked about today and uh even even i would like to take the views of Erland and bilal as 
athletes themselves to uh, see where this is going and what are their feed what is their feedback and what is what are their suggestions for for people to be a part of this uh, starting with you Dan of course thanks lot yes um so well first of all leading from what martin said i just want to reemphasize to everyone this is for every bvb fan this is for anyone to enter anywhere around the world you don't have to be a professional freestyler okay we've seen some amazing demonstrations from from ireland again reality check he's the world champion right now so you don't have to be at that level um we've also seen some amazing entries from from clearly some some very capable freestylers but it's called freestyle challenge because this is about how you can challenge yourself so just grab a ball use your natural environment come up with a trick shot idea anything at all to to express yourself and have some fun it's only 15 seconds um yeah have some fun with the ball is is my big message um maybe there's even room for a, a little gaming trick i don't know I'm, i'm sure you can do something in fifa i'm sure elden well, i want to see a video from you um why not right let's, let's see if there's a a, a digital version and not just uh, <laughs> Yeah, the outside tricks as well. Um, yes, yes, it's possible, but yeah. not not every skill. Okay. So the well, easy yeah. one with the round the world, they are possible, but the crazy ones um, don't don't work. We'll see. Hack the game. See what you can do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. So yeah, thank you. I mean, we're so excited to be working with BBB, and and let's together see if we can uh, make BBB fans the most skillful in the world. That'll be fantastic. And Bilal and Olin, what are your thoughts? Starting with Bilal, like, what do what do you think about the partnership, and uh, what are your thoughts on it? Yes, I'm I'm very happy, and um, all you need is a ball. Um, it's about to having fun, to show your tricks to the whole world, to be brave, to be creative. Uh, I'm also excited to watch your videos, and um, I'm very happy um, to watch your videos. Um, therefore, um, it's it's very important because uh, as you see many clubs are looking for street footballers who are tricky like Sancho and you also want to entertain the spectators hopefully the fans will be back in the stadium soon and you want to entertain them um, of course the victory is in the foreground you want to win but uh, the more beautiful your win is the better of course therefore i'm i'm looking forward to the to the future uh, working with the WFFA and creating um yes cool stuff that is fantastic bilal thank you so much for saying that uh, thank you, for Tim. the for the fans and for everybody involved olin your thoughts on this yeah awesome i'm uh, very excited as well to be a part of this uh, a part of dortmund and uh, i'm also really curious to see all of your uh, submissions all the videos um I will of course watch everyone and uh, consider what I like the most and uh, yeah just give it a try and send in a video and uh, yeah do it and uh, yeah just uh, try to be creative have fun and uh, if you don't uh, if you're not like a super good football freestyler you can always do something so yeah don't be afraid <laughs> <laughs> All right, I just got and a package. Fantastic. We can I quickly from, show the unboxing video that uh, so let's open uh, and see. You can see it on your stream right now is uh, I think we'll probably wait for it to pop out. There we go. What are we unboxing really here? Oh, no. I can't wait to look at it. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So uh, I'm just gonna check uh, about the queue if uh, there's uh, if we have enough time for a question and answer ses session. Um, let me just make sure that we have that in place. If if yes, then uh, we'll. Um, Okay, so unfortunately, we uh, there are not many uh, there are not many things left actually. And with that being said, I think it was uh, fantastic to have everybody on the stream, and it's it's been a pleasure, guys. Uh, starting with Dan, of course, and Martin, who've been there. Erlen, 
of course, being the world champion, it's so, so good to have you guys here. And for me as well, this is a fantastic experience. Eldon, thank you so much, uh, the FIFA champ, for joining us and picking up a thing or two uh, that you could be probably doing in the game as well and then teach me. But on the other side, Bilal, Dan, uh, Martin, and of course, Erlen. Thank you so much, guys, for enjoying the stream and sharing your views. Uh, it's been a fantastic, fantastic stream. Uh, really nice to have you guys here. And I look forward, I personally look forward to what's what's in store for the partnership and how we're going to have these on socials everywhere. Thank you so much, guys. Can can we say, can we say Tara bye-bye to everybody in the stream for each and one of you? Thank you all. I'll start. Take care. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, guys. See you around and look forward to your submissions. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, guys. And... Bye, guys. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for, um, for watching Thank us. You, and we will see you later. <laughs> Thank you, Thank guys. You guys. Take care of Thanks, yourselves. Bye-bye. See you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>